What is up guys, welcome back to yet another video here. If you are new to this channel and don't know who I am, I am Paul Caffaro and today we are gonna be making a live well. A live well for the bait for my pond. Cause I'm gonna have to keep some bait alive to feed the fish very soon. I am feeding them frozen bait as of right now, which I do not wanna do for much longer. I wanna keep these fish on a normal live bait diet here. We are gonna head into Walmart, which is right here behind me and uh, pick up some materials to make a live well. Thinking not too many things, I, I believe all I need is really a bucket and a filter, maybe a few other little things if we find any. Stay tuned for that as well. We're gonna head into Walmart right now and pick up those materials. Oh, dang. So we've got some bins here. Not too shabby, they're actually pretty big for only $4.96. So I'm gonna pick up one of these. And now right above that is the top. All right, so I've came over to the filters here. Now there's a lot of filters. They range from like $25 all the way to the lowest right here, which is for a small one. This is 62 liters, so that's about 16, 16 and a half gallons, which this one is one to 10, so I might have to go five to 15, which is right up here, right here, for 11.64, and that is the one I'm gonna go with. Here it is, this guy right here, should do just fine, so this is about 16, 16 and a half gallons. This goes up to 15, it'll do just fine. And of course, I don't want to just leave it empty in there. It's uh, some sort of decorated. So here is, so here are some cheap, uh, cool plants right here. $1.97 for a row just like this. So I'll probably grab uh, one of these and maybe even one of these cool little colorful ones. We'll see what we get. So we're just gonna end up grabbing two of these. So that right there is gonna do it for me. Head over to the fish now and see what kind of fish we can. Maybe we get a pleco to clean it up or something. Got him. Awesome. Sweet. Perfect. Thank you. See you put them. Alright. Decent. A little here, a little there. Oh yeah, we're feeding the fish at Walmart here. It's time to eat, guys. It's time to eat. Everyone gets meals. <laughs> guys, we're feeding them all. We're feeding them all. We're saving them. Eat. I don't even know if I'm allowed to go down here, but I'm doing it anyway. Eat. Feast. 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 All right, closing that one up. Chuck some more in there. There you go. Whoa, look at these guys. A little more. There you go. We're done. We fed every fish. Thanks, my man. Awesome. Here you go. Close this up for you. All right, so we picked up two grass pieces right here. The filter. Yeah, checking out the YouTube channel right here. And then we've got a pleco to clean this up just a little bit more than it already will be. But uh, we're gonna throw some, some baits in there, probably tilapia or something. I wanna check this out here. Perfect, 6.93, awesome. There it is. Right. Got everything. 
with Jimbo and the live well. We have the lid right here, we won't need till the end. So we got the five to 15 gallon filter right here. Two little plants and Jimbo. So, uh, yep, little fish from Walmart. Crystal blue water there. Straight into the bin where all the baits are gonna go. Do probably three or four more buckets of those. That water's so nice, dude. Alrighty, now that we got the water in, we're gonna add these little decorations in. So whether or not they're in the corners or not, either way works. That's where I'm gonna put them right there for now. Now I do have a few extra rocks as well right here that I've actually sized out already. Where I'm gonna throw these in right here and just kind of squeeze up all these decorations. And there we go. So now that we have that, we're pretty much set to put the filter on and running. First, I wanna get my buddy Jimbo in there. So we're gonna open the bag of him. Oh, wow, all right. That water does not smell good. It's Walmart water. There's Jimbo. There he goes new little home. It is like a fish tank, but a bin. It's exactly what it is. So this is where it's going. I'm gonna move it there now. Before I get all the water in there. I think it's too heavy to maneuver. We're gonna get this filter going and running. So, pull this out of here. You're gonna size it to where we need this. So we're gonna need to pull this out just a little bit more where it hangs freely. There we go, we can move it around. I'm gonna put it right in the middle. And that goes right into there just like that. Open this up. Drop that down straight into there. Now the filter is in the water. Now, get a bucket of water. Fill your filter up with water. Just like that, pour the rest in here. Close her up. Now get your plug. Kinda of rusted to be brand new. And then, uh. Look at that sucker in right there. Now that I'm thinking, I think someone might have returned this. Because you can see it's rusted up here and at that. Well, that's just great. Uh, I'm going to make this real quick for you guys, but this thing's not working and it did look returned. You can see the rust, the rust on there as well. So someone actually uh, bought this. It, they didn't want it or they used it until it broke and then they returned it, which is not cool, but. I'm gonna go return it and get a brand new one. This will be just about one second. We'll be right here, right now. Don't know where that came from, but uh, yeah. We're back. This one is brand new. You can see everything. No rust, no rust, brand new. There's that. Put the cartridge in. Now that you filled up your filter, all you gotta do is plug it in. Right, here we go. Here it comes. Boom! Got her. It's a little flow, but it's it's gonna, it's gonna work. Here it comes. There it is. Now you'd be surprised, but that will clean so much. So we've got our little aquarium going down here. I have food to feed the fish. And uh, Luke actually gave me a bunch of tilapia the other day. We were at his house. If you didn't watch his video, it's right here. And uh, yeah, we uh, got a bunch of tilapia from his pond. So there's a bunch of baby tilaps. We're actually gonna throw one in the pond right now. Just cause the peacock has been destroying these things. There's what they look like. Oh, there he goes, he's in his home. All right. Oh, I got it, I got it, he ate it. 100% I got that. He's been destroying every bait. Every bait that I put in there, he eats. Here. We are gonna net these guys out of here and put them in to their new clean home. There's so many of them, look at that. 
All right, there's some more tilapes going in. We'll keep these three in feed. Oh, there's four in there. We'll keep uh, these two and go feed the fish real quick just to show you guys. Oh, oh my gosh. Bro, he does not stop eating. I've never seen something eat so much. I'm just gonna throw one over there, see what happens. Oh my lord, that's so sick. That is so sick, dude. Guys, you've just witnessed the first time the peacock has ever eaten. That is so sick, dude. He comes up and just destroys. So we've got tilapia food. We'll feed them every once in a while. There's plenty of food in this little thing to feed them. You'll see all the little minnow marks as I throw this in. You can see them all go ham. Oh, and of course, the little piranha thing. Watch, he's gonna munch. So sick. Oh, he's wrecking. All right, back over to here. We're gonna finish our little homemade live well back here. This will work 100% for sure. You can always get a razor blade and cut through right here if you wanted a filter mark, but for now I'm just gonna leave it so there's still air flowing through. Leave it just like that right there. So that is gonna do for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The fish are doing well. As you can see, they're starting to eat. If you guys haven't done so already, join the family, subscribe below. Also, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you guys in another video. Peace. A lot of you guys comment. Oh, I don't know.